1964 Mercury Marauder here at Fleming's Ultimate Garage. We just had something kind of special happen with this car. We accidentally stumbled across the original builder of this car, who knows way more about it than anybody else on the planet. We thought you might like to meet him. Phil Hunt. How you doing? Is the builder. How you doing, Phil? What can you tell us about this Marauder? Well, I uh, purchased this car. It was in a, a chicken coop in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Mm -hmm. In uh, how long? Home. How long you figure it was in the chicken coop? Yeah, years. <laughs> years. It was probably hadn't been on the road. And I think the last inspection that I scraped off the window was about. It was like 1979, 78. Okay. And. Uh, I brought it home, it had a straight body on it, started doing body work to it, and uh, this is a Raven Black, uh, polished, hand polished all the chrome on the car, there's pieces I bought for the car that, that weren't on the car, and uh, pulled the 390 out, which was tired, throwed it away, and uh, we stuck a 428, 1966 428 solid lifter police interceptor motor in it. Yes, you did. I put a... Uh, and you built the motor yourself, right? Yes, sir. How many miles on this motor? Motor's probably got, I would say, less than a thousand, maybe twelve hundred miles on it. Okay. Uh, we decked the block, uh, standard board, ten ten on the crank. Uh, it's got a solid lifter D cam, which if any of you got your FD guys, you know the D cam, the DX, the uh, the uh, C A D X A T cam. It's a Holman and Moody cam that they made for Ford. And it was an OEM cam, right? Yes, it was new old stock in the box. I uh, happened to have a friend of mine that worked for Herbie's Ford and I purchased it from him. Uh, and that's Jack's uh, uh, Ford parts. Mm -hmm. And uh, did uh, 1963 406 heads, shaved them 20, put 427 valves in them, triple wound springs, uh, cam seat on the springs for about 640. Uh, the cam is a 640-330, it's got uh, two 635 Hollies, and that's it. The intake and carburetors is all NOS, new old stock carburetors. And, and they were like $3,000 just for that I setup, right? I paid grand for that setup and they've never been bolted on anything. New old stock? New old stock. Holy mackerel. It's got a 391 traction lock rear, uh, 28 splines, it's got a board corner with a Beck Armley clutch. Uh, it's very soft to push, but it engages immediately. Yeah, I drove it. It does. <laughs> uh, it's got disc brakes on the front, uh, and uh, the body on this car had one rust spot the size of a quarter on the passenger side quarter panel. Okay. We cut that out, TIG welded another piece of metal in. It had a little spot in the floorboard. Cut it out, took another floorboard out of another Mercury I had and take welded it in so that you couldn't see where it was patched in because the worst thing you want to see is a patch And this, this body is slick. And if it's, going to be, if it's going to be black, it better be right. And this one's right. We spent about, uh, probably about 30 hours just blocking the car down and building the primer. Can, um, we, can we start this monster up? Sure. Let's fire it up. Fleming's Ultimate Garage. My telephone number is 301-816-1000.